Welcome back everyone. So today, yung video na to is to have a Shopify walkthrough. I'll teach you guys on how to set up your Shopify store from adding new products and then kung paano i-adjust yung shipping settings and then payment settings. Okay, so good news is that sa Shopify, they are giving us uh, 90 days free trial because of the pandemic situation um, so before they usually just give 14 days free trial but this um, starting April they gave 90 days free trial so for the link to get the free trial just go to the link down below okay. so first is you just have to press start free trial you just put in your email okay so sample email Today, yung example natin is a food business. Siyempre ngayon, essential items lang muna yung pwedeng ibenta. So, kunwari, ang pangalan natin is Pizza and Co. Um, Philippines. Are you already selling? Let's choose. I'm not selling products yet. Do you have any something to sell? Yes, I have a product and I'll be ready to launch in a few weeks. What is your current revenue? Zero pesos. Hindi naman kailangan very accurate to. This is just like a survey for them. Um, and then, which industry will you be operating in? So, example natin is food and drink. Are you setting up a store for a client? No. So, and then, press next add an address so I'll just fill this out and then okay so now you're here in the Shopify dashboard um, sometimes Shopify has mga videos on how to get started mga tutorial Ayun. so basically same lang naman siya um, with the things that I will show you today so okay so in here in the dashboard you'll see Home, orders, products, customers, analytics, marketing, discounts, apps, and then the online store or yung parang pinaka website nyo. Okay, so home, usually you'll see here yung how many visitors and how much sales that you have for the day. And then sa orders, dyan mo makikita yung mga in order ng customers, mga order numbers, and all our other details. Sa products, okay, so we'll go today um, let's try to add a product And then we'll include the price. For example, they're selling this for 100 pesos. And then yung compare at price, um, if gusto nyo ipakita na sinail nyo na yung item. So, kunyari itong compare at price, pwede nyo ilagay 200. So, parang you're saying na dati 200 pesos siya, pero ngayon 100 pesos na lang siya. And then here you can um, indicate the cost of your item. So, you don't have to worry because the customers won't be able to see this. So, kunwari, 50 pesos lang yung cost nyo. Charge tax on this product. Uncheck this one. Um, add nyo na lang yung bat nyo dun sa pinaka price. Usually, this applies for mga US customers. So, para hindi magulahan don't uncheck this one. Um, stock keeping unit. If you have a lot of items, especially for mga apparel or mga shoes na binibenta. So, kunwari, um, let's say you have a, an apparel business and you're selling dresses. Parang magandang i-code yung mga kanyari dress, um, long, zero one. Parang yun yung mga example ng mga SKU or yung mga 
kung baga stock code niya yan. And then, barcode. So, if you have, if you're selling naman mga, let's say, canned goods, di ba may mga barcode dun. So, you can indicate, indicate it here. And then, next is to track quantity. Always make sure to have this checked unless na lang. So, unlimited yung quantity na meron kayo. So, if you're dropshipping, pwede namang i-uncheck to. Pero, risky pa rin eh. So, I suggest to always have this checked. And then, indicate nyo yung quantity na meron kayo. So, kunwari, you have 10 pieces of brownies. And then, shipping, if this, if this is a physical product. So, we have to make sure that this one is checked. So, if this is unchecked, meaning digital products yung binibend nyo. So, like courses, um, PDF, files, games, so yun. And then, yung weight, mas maganda na rin i-check nyo kapara kapag magpapadala kayo ng items na, um, of course, is yung weight. Minsan, uh, mas mahal syempre yung shipping kapag mas mabigat na yung item. So, pwede nyo ilagay example, 50 grams. And then, customs information. We're going to uh, sell overseas, international, so... It's nice to have this filled out, but let's assume that this brownie business is just located here in the Philippines. So, we're going to get some fill up. Variance means that if you have uh, options for your product, so this could mean that it has sizes, it has um, colors, flavors, etc. So, konwari have variance. So, first size, let's say. Um, let's say family size and then to put lots of options you just have to add a comma and then automatically you can add na iba pang sizes. Ayan, you could also change the price depending on the variant. Okay, so nilagay lang niya yung 100. Kunyari yung 100 pesos is for bite size lang pala. So you don't have to change that. Pero iba palang variants mo, yung family size mo, let's say 500 yan. So, tapos yung pan size mo, example 300. So, adjust nyo na lang yung um, prices depending on the option. Okay? And then here, you can um, change the product type. So, kunwari, let's say, dun sa pizza business nyo, na kayong desserts. And then, this one vendor, usually kapag you're running a multi-brand, store. So, example, um, let's say, Plaid Sports sells Nike, Adidas, and, and all other brands. So, if this is your own brand, you don't have to write anything here. And then, collections, ganun din. Usually, kung saan yung gustong category siya. And then, the tags. Here, you will write um, what you think your customers would search for. And then, kung, it, kung ito yung, gusto, yung hinahanap nilang item. So, kunwari, if you think that the customer will type brownies, um, your customer will also like chocolate. Okay, so, you just have to click save. And then you could go ahead and preview the product. So then yung store. So yeah, example, pizza and go Philippines. So ayan, you can see here that your customer can go ahead and.
choose which one they want. So next thing that we can do is to have a logo. So if you want to hire graphic artist, you can do that. Uh, you can hire a uh, graphic artist in Fiverr, Upwork, etc., etc. But if you're okay with a simple logo, you can go here to hatchful.shopify.com. So let's see here on how you could create a logo. So you can have a pizza. say that your pizza is a friendly brand. Pizza. Okay, so here are the sample logos. So you can just choose which one you want. I want doesn't have anything that comes with pizza. So as you can see, kahit anong business category nyo, like example, sushi, coffee, seafood. Okay, so let's just find here. So this template does not support slogan, so it will not show up, but it's okay. Um, let's just download. If you are starting with a low capital business, you can do this. But I think the risk here is baka may mga kaparehas kayo. So just um, consider the possibility. Okay. So I'll download this first para malagay natin siya sa website natin. Your rest of the world if you're shipping overseas so if you're not shipping overseas you just delete the zone and okay that's it so just shipping here in the Philippines um, you just add rate and then let's say you have free shipping within add another one let's say provincial and then let's say example 150 pesos you can also uh, create a shipping rate that's based on rates or based on order price If you want to get free shipping, kapag at least ang 1,000 sa last month. Um, so free shipping, minimum price 1,000. So sa Philippines, usually, um, bank, bank transfer or GCash. Yung sa nakita siya, go here sa manual payment methods. Okay, so and then you can create bank deposit. And then just write here like your BPI account, BDO account, payment extra instructions like should they um, send screenshot to, let's say example lang, philippines.com or maybe send um, proof of payment to your number okay so and then it's called bank deposit activated okay. 
Um, for the bank deposit, I know that not all customers will be able to um, deposit the payment or transfer the payment. So, pero kindly note that bawas na yun sa quantity. Once na kapag order si customer through your website, the quantity will be already reduced to your inventory. So, do make sure na naka-track kayo dun sa mga nagbayad na at mga hindi pa. If in, in the scenario that the customer will not be able to pay for the ordered item or items, make sure na i-tag niyo as cancel para bumalik na yung original quantity. So, kunwari, let's say, you have 10 brownies, and then one or one customer ordered um, a bite-sized brownie, and then hindi pala siya nakabayad through the bank. So, cancel yung order para maging 10 ulit siya sa website. Okay. And then, you could add another one, COD. So, kunwari, you have your own. So, payment through Lalamove, Kopile. So sa first time na may um, customer na may mag-order, mapaproceed pa rin naman yun kahit wala ka pang i-set up dyan. Okay. And then, what are the other alternative payments? So if you are partnering with, let's say, mga Paymaya or any credit card provider that you have in your store, you could connect them here. Could, um, I'm not really sure on how to do it. You could just ask your payment provider for the details and how to integrate integrate your um, credit card payments here in your website. Um, so basically, yun lang naman. Um, what I do here sa payment capture, I click automatically capture payment for orders. Kasi kung nagbayad sila through credit card, you don't you no longer have to approve it. Okay. So you just have to save this. Ah, nakasave na siya. Alright, so basically... That's how you do it. <laughs>